Hello, beautiful soul. <laughs> Welcome back. Can you believe I'm here again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm so happy to be returning to my YouTube channel with videos for you guys. Um, it was just such a crazy year for me. I moved to another country and I'm still trying to handle um, work, family and all the shifts. So I'm back. Yay. I'm here to talk to you about angels again, about guidance. So I'm ready to receive their love, their light for this week, this upcoming week, which will be the last week of November. So let's check their guidance for the week of November 24th through November 30th. We're closing the month of November with light and love from them. How good is that? So let's check what is the main energy for us to be thinking about and where should we be bringing ourselves into with our mindsets, with our hearts, and what is it that we need to think about and work on. So we have ideas and inspirations and playfulness. Oh, beautiful soul. So... This is what they are asking for this week. Close this week. We're coming to the end of the year, right? So they are asking you to be more playful right now, to be more joyful, to look for activities and things for you to do that will inspire you. Because the new ideas you're looking for, <laughs> the new ideas you're looking for, the things you're looking to achieve for yourself, Next year even, all these new ideas you need to change things in your life, they, they will come from a joyful experience, from a joyful heart. If you're overly worried, if you're overly emotional, if you're overly stressed, these ideas won't flow because these feelings, these thoughts, they block these new ideas and inspirations. So they want to infuse you with new ideas. They want you to feel these inspirations that they want to bring you because they want to give you answers. They want to help you. So it's important right now, heading towards the end of the year, to be more playful, to allow yourself to chill a little. You've worked so hard throughout the years, so right now breathe. Take this opportunity to be closer to your family, to the people you love, to your friends. But remember to always, always bring something to your life that will bring you joy, that will cultivate this happy feeling within you. Because otherwise, of course, the energy of inspiration won't flow because you're not in that flow. You're not in that joyful heart in that connection with yourself and when you work with these activities like dancing singing going to the movies you know just being with your friends laughing talking this will make your energy flow and when your energy is flowing in this happy joyful energy these ideas will start to come and flow to you in a very easy and quick way even so if you want, if you need to receive new inspirations right now, if you want solutions for things, this is the moment. The way to get there is by being playful, is by having fun, is by allowing yourself to get out a little bit of your routine, to get out a little bit of the things that you, your mind, your ego is telling you that you must do, that you have to do. This is a week of feeling happy with yourself. This is a week of cultivating this energy, this light, this fun within you. Bringing your inner child out to play. Allowing your inner child to have fun and to laugh. This is the way to go. Because otherwise new ideas won't flow. You need to unblock this um feelings and these things that are on the way of allowing the energy to flow for inspirations to come they're ready to give you the inspirations but it's your energy is not in alignment so you need to have fun this week they're asking you allow yourself to laugh allow yourself to chill to be close to those who make you feel good with yourself okay remember that beautiful soul 
let's see what else they are talking about here so this is what we need to be working on now let's see um if they give us another guidance about how what else can we do you know what else can, how can we achieve this joyful energy let's see just stay with me and it's here so cupid you see hmm so here is the answer here is the answer how do i know what i need what, what i need to do to bring this joyful energy by falling in love for the things you you do okay the things you need to do to allow the flow of energy to come and to happen within you is by doing the things you love only you can tell i cannot tell you what you love to do <laughs> only you can tell so if you love cooking go ahead and cook more this week if you love nature go ahead and go and stay in contact with nature this week if you like traveling take some time go for a, a quick trip but do something you have you hold the answer this is what they're saying in order for you to receive new ideas to receive inspirations from the universe you have to be doing the things that you love you have to be playing around. You have to be laughing and enjoying yourself. How? What activities? The ones you love. Like I told you, you are the only one who can tell. It's already within your heart. So if anybody actually comes to you and say, you have to do this because this makes you happy, don't listen because you know it. Okay? So if you really need right now to have new ideas and inspirations and, and solutions for the things you want to do, for things you need to do go ahead think about the things you want to you love doing and you, you go for it do it okay don't think twice all right even they're saying now even painting maybe even writing maybe riding a horse oh maybe someone watching likes to ride a horse uh but whatever it is bring yourself back there bring yourself back to that energy back to that kind of activity because that will unblock you that will allow this divine life force to flow and when this life force is flowing you will get the answers you will get the ideas you will get the inspirations you so much need right now okay beautiful soul deal cool let me get another card <laughs> Let me get another card. Let's see what else they want to tell us. Oi, 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 oh my gosh, the cards are flying. As always, if it wasn't flying, it wouldn't be me, right? <laughs> so we have Francesca. Let's see. Oh, thank you, guys. Listen, what do you desire right now? Visualize it, and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. No negativity. This is a week of positive energy. This is a week of having fun. This is a week of allowing yourself to be yourself. Okay, so the ideas, the inspirations, the things that they were talking about, you gotta work on yourself. You gotta start visualizing it. You gotta start feeling it. And how do you feel these ideas? How do you feel the things you want to manifest for 2020, for example? How do you do it? By doing the things you love. Because when you are in that flow of energy, it's easier for you to trust yourself, for you to trust the universe, for you to understand what you truly want. The more you bring yourself into this, uh, into this energy, the easier it is for you to manifest. The stronger the energy is for you to manifest. So don't be negative especially now when it's coming to the end of the year there's so much energy so many portals of light so much going on energetically so use this use this opportunity to grow use this opportunity to get to where you want to manifest your desires to manifest your goals how maria by doing the things you love by bringing yourself in alignment with a joyful happy and fun energy period that's the way to go it's not about thinking about it over and over and over and over again it's not about over stressing because that will only keep you blocked and confused it's about going with the flow it's about allowing yourself to enjoy this very moment because when you're enjoying this very moment you will manifest more joyful moments does it make sense you get it, right? 
cool. Anyways, beautiful soul, please let me know if you liked this guidance. Let me know if you're happy that I'm back in the comments below. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to have you joining me again. Okay, seriously, I miss this so much. So welcome back. And yeah, comment below if this is making sense to you. And remember to subscribe as well. Subscribe to my channel, okay? Just click the button, click the bell to be notified about the new videos. And open your heart. Enjoy yourself this, this week because it's a beautiful energy. It's a very positive energy. So allow yourself to be open for this energy and to bring yourself into more alignment with the things you truly want, with the things your heart is asking you to, to do and to achieve. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Cool. Thank you so much for joining me once again, beautiful soul. And I'll talk to you very soon again. Have a wonderful week in the company of your angels always. And namaste.